Let's take a deep dive into what's happening in the world of AI. Bill Gates, Sam Altman, Jeff Bezos, Kathy Wood, and other big tech players are all going in on a small robotics company. But why? For a long time, we thought that constructing smart, agile robots would be very, very difficult. But some very recent breakthroughs seem to indicate that we are about to see some lightning-fast developments on the robotic front, prompting one leading AI researcher to say, every machine that moves will be autonomous. Now we all probably remember the figure AI robot making coffee. At that time, people made fun of it because a human operator places the cup and coffee machine in front of it. He basically sets up the whole environment for him, and then the robot gets into action and prepares the coffee. A lot of people criticized figure AI, basically saying that this was a pretty easy demonstration for the robot. And to be honest, nobody took this company seriously. But now we're seeing that the tables have turned. We are seeing a massive interest in this company. Everyone wants a piece of it. And at this point, it does seem like they are one of the leading robotic companies. Now figure I is saying, there are 10 million unfilled jobs in the United States. 7 million of those are essential roles like warehouses, transportation, retail, and only 6 million people are available to fill those open positions. Some of the biggest warehouse suppliers predict they will run out of people to hire by 2024, and their goal is to deploy autonomous humanoid workers to fill this gap on a global scale. Figure AI is set to raise $675 million for human-like robots, and we have quite a few big names that are investing in this company. We have Amazon, we have Microsoft, we have, we have NVIDIA, and there are many other players which include Intel, LG, and Samsung. Another major investor is, of course, OpenAI, which once considered acquiring Figure AI. Now, if we talk about numbers, Jeff Bezos, through one of his investment arms, has committed $100 million. Microsoft is investing just under $100 million, and OpenAI is also investing $5 million. So this is a huge investment into the robotic sector. And one big reason behind this interest is that Elon Musk's Optimus Prime is seeing some pretty stunning progress. Here's you can see that the Optimus robot is able to gently handle this egg, transferring it from one hand to the other without breaking it. This is a much, much complex task as compared to just walking in the hallway, and it kind of indicates how quickly these robots are improving. Not too long ago, Elon Musk posted this Optimus strolling around the lab. Now the picture quality is horrific here, but the thing that we're seeing here looks like there's some sort marking on the floor, and the robot is walking through those. As you can see here, basically hitting every one of those points and is able to effectively navigate around the floor. Also, you can see the people walking in the background. They seem to be in normal motion, so this would imply that just from about a month ago, this robot is getting much, much faster. We don't know exactly how much, but I'll show you in a second why it might be moving 30% faster than one month ago. So here's the thing that we saw. This was last month, so this is the Optimus walking around the floor. And you can kind of tell that it seems like it's going a little bit slower. And this is where I really want to kind of point out the fact that NVIDIA is doing just a phenomenal job in robotics industry. This momentum is why AI stocks have been carrying the economy for over a year. But for all the hysteria, Reuters reported AI companies lost over $190 billion in value after EOY earnings reports. And remember, these are just the ones big enough to withstand losses. The future is ramping up, but it's still uncertain, which is why during this run, big bank execs started looking to the past, specifically increasing their allocations to luxury scarce and uncorrelated assets like fine art. Our sponsors at Masterworks were years ahead. They've used over 50 years of hard data and auction records to acquire over 300 paintings from legends like Picasso, Basquiat, and Banksy, and they allow everyday people to invest in shares of it with their easy-to-use site and app. Past results are no guarantee of future returns, but each of their sales have delivered a profit thus far. Net returns like 14.6%, 16.4%, and 17.8%, and some for much more, which is why over 900,000 users have signed up as of February. Be advised, popular offerings have sold out within minutes, but my subscribers can skip the waitlist and get started today by going to masterworks.art slash AI upload. So coming back to the video, you have to know that robots are hard to make. They're hard to train, and they are even harder to improve for like a million different reasons. But recently, there has been a few breakthroughs that have made it easier. We've figured out how to train these robots in simulation instead of building real-life expensive robots that have wear and tear. Now we just recreate them in these simulations. NVIDIA has introduced several different tools for this purpose. These tools simulate the environments and train these robots thousand times faster, without any wear and tear and without breaking these robots. With enough training in the simulations, these robots translate to almost perfect real-world results. So NVIDIA has their platform Isaac Jim, and what they do is, 
they throw these different robots in this kind of simulation that has a lot of simulated physics of the real world, the friction, momentum, gravity. And it's able to train the robots a thousand times the speed of the real world. So that allows us to train these robots in a simulation to do various tasks. And this is an important part because we as humans probably need a lot of time and resources to do the same thing that this simulation platform can do very quickly. So for example, would you be able to describe to this robot how to use wheels on its hands to open doors or move boxes from point A to B? It would be very difficult since we've never had to deal with that. But NVIDIA's Isaac platform can train it in simulation again and again. And you can see here this robot has reached this potential with just 2,000 iterations inside the simulation. And I think it's kind of impressive. Isaac Jim trained this robot to use the wheels and various joints to throw that box inside of a container or open the doors, etc. Now, for a long, long time, we've had humans working on physical robots. And we made a lot of progress over the years. And a lot of that effort led to what we have today. But... As you saw, it was slow, difficult, and expensive. We had a lot of progress, but it still seemed like humanoid robots capable of doing general tasks seemed like that was still far, far away. Now we have AIs that train robots in simulation. It's improving real quick, and when these robots come out of the simulation, it translates very well into real-life physical robots, and so far all those results seem like they're really, really good. And that's why companies like Figure AI are so hot in demand. And the reason why the biggest funds, the biggest tech players are pouring money into it is because three years ago we thought that these robots that are agile and have sort of general intelligence, we thought that was a long way away. But now it's dawning on people that maybe not so much, maybe they're just around the corner and we should probably be buying up the people of the talent and the abilities to create these things. Now if you think about the GDP per capita, in other words, how much stuff we produce, how much goods and services we produce on average per person for the amount of population, we have what does this chart look like? If we're able to produce expensive robots capable of doing a lot of the labor work, the chart would go vertical because we're going to be able to produce more stuff regardless of how much of the population is able to work. It kind of changes the game. Now, Figure AI is not the only company attracting large investments. There are some other players in the market, too. Like 1x, this company is also making some advanced AI robots based on NVIDIA simulations. Here, take a look at some of the robots built by 1x. These are all autonomous robots trained on simulation platforms like NVIDIA. Don't think that this is an animated footage. This is the actual footage of 1x robots working on many different tasks. In the last 12 months alone, 1X has raised more than $125 million through multiple investors. So this is another example of how things are shaping up in robotics industry. And essentially, we can say that these simulations tools are going to change the robotics industry. And that's the main reason why every tech billionaire wants a piece of it. So this is it for today's video. See you again next week with another video.